it's Cherry Martins from Martins Metal Design and this is another installment on the horse head that I'm working on. As you can see I've got the jaw welded on and the throat is all attached. I've added some more pieces here to the neck to give it a little bit more stability because it does tend to want to uh, wiggle a lot. But that'll get better as I fill in the pieces. Now I want to show you what I'm going to do for the mane on this one. I'm doing something a little different. What I started with is this rake or one similar to it. Uh, it had a long handle and it's, I, I've never used one, but it's something that you use in your garden. What did I, what I did is I took uh, it apart at each end and pulled off these little pieces here. And what I ended up with was a bunch of these looking things. Uh, they've got a square hole in the middle and a bend on one side here. I And these little pieces here are what was in the middle that separated. I did not use these at this point. Um, I sandblasted these. Um, I did about 15 of them. Sandblasted them and then I used fender washers and actually rivets and Marv helped me. We did kind of an assembly line where um, we would thread the rivet through the washer and then through this piece after it was sandblasted. And then I heated it with the torch and he beat the um, rivet flat with a large hammer. And what we ended up with are these pieces here. And here you can see the actual head of the rivet, washer on either side. And this is what the rivet looks like after it's heated and it's smashed. So there's no welding involved with that. So what I'm doing with these pieces is I'm putting them together on another large piece and I'm going to use that for the main. I'm gonna weld this piece right here on because I have it at the right angle. So I'm gonna do that here while you're watching. like we got that done yep came out perfect now what I'm gonna do with this bar that has these pieces welded on it is it's gonna sit up here and this will be the horse's mane it'll have some pieces that come out in the front so it'll look like it's got some front hairs and then these pieces will go all the way down the back so that's where I'm at with the mane next time hopefully I'll have the mane attached and I can show you that, and then I will work down on the rest of the neck, and hopefully I'll be finished with it in a couple of days. Thanks for watching.